Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and X-Men Blue, issue number 19. I'm going to say the X-Men are kind of back right now. They're back to a place where I really like them. So Cross Time Capers, uh, hopefully we're wrapping up pretty soon, even though I do like this. I do like this. I want them to get back to good stuff again. I want to see what actually happens with this team. So right now, our young, time-displaced X-Men go back to kind of like their own original time, and they see an evil version of themselves killing the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Only Magneto is left, and he's like, bring the noise! So, um, they are... <laughs> the, the, the Professor X version actually shows up, and he's walking. He's like, hey, man, and he sends some kind of a bomb. I, I thought it was made of metal, um, but apparently he can't stop it. Whatever. Anyway, so they're going to try and kill Magneto with the super bomb. And Jean Grey and everybody, they wind up teleporting themselves and Magneto away while these other guys, they body slide. Once they said body slide, it's like, okay, done. These guys are from the future. These aren't the actual X-Men. Well, not really, not technically. These are alternate versions. Some of them are mirror versions themselves. Uh, Beast is actually there. The guy playing Cyclops was actually old man uh, Deadpool, which I think is just, I'm so in love right now. I'm 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 going to fall over myself. Like, that's amazing. Charles Xavier II is there. Guys, this is pretty wicked. This is pretty wicked, all right? So they've got a very interesting conglomeration of people trying to, they are the new version of the X-Men, but they're disguising themselves as the older X-Men. Here's what I think. Uh, Colin Bunn, if he's not going to do that, I think he's, uh, whatever. I think that he should do this, okay? The reason why you can you can fix all of this timeline thing, way back when, uh, bef right before X-Men Prime, you had the these young X-Men go back in time. Yay, we're back, but oh, look, we're already here. So the timeline somehow fixed itself, and we are the anomaly, so we should just leave. So they went back to do whatever they were doing. But as it turns out, no. These guys were actually there, and they were a answering the call, and these were just imitators. They realized that there was some kind of a problem. These bad guys, these imitators, realized there was some kind of a problem where, oh, people have left. You know, the, the X-Men, they've they vanished, so there's a void that needs to be filled. So they showed up, and of course they were, you know, more ruthless and whatnot, so yeah. So that's what the X-Men, our time-displaced X-Men, actually saw, which means that that uh, that past that original timeline that they came from doesn't actually have them there that actually explains all three timelines if they say that these guys were just doppelganging and and taking over so boom i'm done i'm done put a fork in it that is what the story line needs to be is it actually what's going to happen not sure but if it does wow perfect absolutely perfect explains everything yeah we're good. Anyway, this comic book in and of itself, I'm going to give this a B plus. This was good. This was good. I liked seeing the little surprises, but here's the thing. What the X-Men Blue has been doing recently is giving us a lot of really cool surprise appearances. Whoa, I didn't expect that. And it's like, yeah, okay, we're done. Move on. Let's, let's see what the next big surprise is. Every single issue for the past, what, five issues has given us some really cool surprise guest appearances at the very end. And then they deal with them. And then, you know, in the next issue, and then we get another, you know, new surprise guest appearance. Like, so, yeah, I can only take but so many false starts. <laughs> so there was a, this was a good issue, but it would have been better if I didn't already see this ending several times before, like immediately preceding this comic book. So there's that. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Professor Bell Comic Book University. Class dismissed.